Food connects you to your lineage. It connects you to people, friends, community. I think a lot of things happen when people share a meal. My restaurant is called Marjorie, and it's named after my mother. My family moved from Jamaica to Chicago when I was about five, and I just found the time with my mom in the kitchen very special. In the restaurant, we make a really eclectic menu. There's Jamaican food, there's uh, Oaxacan food, we make handmade pastas, pizza, um, just everything. Our most popular dish is the Jamaican jerk chicken, and people come in looking for it. Jerk chicken? I love the ability to share my food experience with my son. He's kind of under our chef's tutelage. Looking good. How long do you want to? Um, I would say slightly longer and a little wider. I came to Seattle on vacation. I was so infatuated with the food, the availability of it, the quality of it. Hi. That's a seeded bread, I love that. It's a surprisingly diverse city. You might not see that on the surface, but I think when you look beneath the surface, it expresses itself in a lot of different ways. Oh, look at that fresh homemade Oaxaca cheese. Yep. It's all handmade quesillo. Yesterday for today, it's nothing like this yeah. in the market. Mm. Oh my God, that? that's good, good. yeah. Oh, see? Yeah. Francisco, mucho gusto. Costas, Costa Romero, Mario. Gracias. Gracias. That was so good. good. That tasted so that's fresh. Like Oaxaca, like. Yeah. No, I know. I think when you're small, you do the best when you deal with other small businesses. We want to know that the person that's selling it to us takes the time to look it over and make sure it's the standard. And when you deal with small farmers, that's what they do. It's good to be able to show this all to you because this was where all your winter lettuces came from. Oh, they were so good. Oh my God, they're beautiful. So you should try this. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh my God. In this time of year, when it's so cold outside, we start things indoors here. Uh -huh. And we'll still grow them to full size outdoors. Right, but yeah. These are your first lettuces, for example. Oh, oh wow. I remember always seeing my mom reading cookbooks, and she would read them the way people read novels, and constantly look up from her cookbook and like, oh, we should try this this weekend, or well, let's put a party together in our house, which at the time was the segregated south side of Chicago, and my mom would just have everyone over, and neighbors would tell her, you're not supposed to do that, and she would meet someone at the bank, and mentioned to them, you know, you're new here, come over to our place for dinner tonight and embark on a lifelong friendship. Great food is a magnet, but it takes a community to make you want to stay somewhere. So for me, it was important to build a community and just to create this place where people could come and enjoy a meal, share it with friends, share it with us, and it just grew. I look back now at how my mom would entertain, welcome, bring in that one extra person. That inspires me because it has a sense of a dinner is a party and there's always room at the table for one more. Well, I hope everything. <laughs>